So good evening, everybody. Today is August the 29th, 2019. This is a new human experience podcast. And the topic tonight is crystalline. So remember years ago when I first heard the uh, about the crystalline body that um, when we ascend, then our body becomes more crystalline. And I was, you know, I really don't know much about what what the difference between a crystalline body and carbon-based body is. I just know that chemically speaking, like if you um, if you really dissect our um, and and take a look at the the chemical bonds that create our cells and create our bodies, um, it is carbon-based. So for me, is like my logical mind is, is is like, so what do you mean by crystalline? And, you know, um, and all that, this, um, so my mind just cannot grasp um, the, cannot really grasp what's the, um, I would say, what's the significance or how can we become more crystalline? What does that mean? And, and then, um, so, there's there's this disbelief and question mark at the back of my mind that I always I always think well this crystalline thing does not make sense so I don't know how to how to think about it so I just leave that as something in the black box and um, the more I I grow the more uh, knowledge I I gain the more I um, look at this. I start to get an understanding of what crystalline really refers to. Um, the what crystalline and carbon base is actually referring to the grid that we, I would say, the grid or another name for that is the matrix. It's the matrix, as I meant, um, I've talked in previous podcasts, is that every planet has a matrix around it and the matrix is really like the operating system and that's um so that is in the natural organic um, matrix of planet earth is crystalline the the way it was created fifteen thousand years ago it was crystalline so fifteen thousand years ago when this series of, of um, bodies, of, of, of human bodies, was created, we, our operating system is crystalline. So that means that we instinctively know that we are all um, part of one. So a lot of those things, those are really crystalline grit. That's, that's the um, nature of the crystalline grit. However, when the inverted matrix came in, then there is, it's like a, um, a grid within the grid. So with, so the, the natural grid is still have, is still around the, the earth itself. However, there is another grid that is with, that is kind of, um, within that grid is the inverted matrix. And that is an artificially created matrix, artificially created with the intention to devolve us, de-evolve us. So that's when a lot of the different um, programs, whether it is social programs, whether it is religious programs, a whole slew of um, supporting programs, to de-evolve us, and that's what the inverted matrix is doing. So the inverted matrix um, is created, made us into more carbon-based. So carbon-based, carbon is a much um, more solid, unchanging, and um, it's 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 a very stuck, or it promotes a very stuck state. And that's how it's supporting humanity to create this um, experience of very um, bright light and very dark, dark, so that it accentuates the, the duality 
our experience of duality and also makes it very not easy for us to see through it because everything is, is so hot. It's not easy for us to make changes. The nature of uh, carbon is that it's not easy to break the bond. It's not easy to incorporate new ideas. And we, and that's why fear is, is there because the fear really keeps us to stick to what we know. So things that we know is safe. So, uh, and there's this fear that if we do things that we don't know, the unknown actually prevents us from trying new things and thinking new thoughts. So anything that is new and foreign is, would have this fear-based mentality that's keeping us. So all this is what the, the carbon grid or the, the, the negative or, or the um, inverted matrix is doing. So then what is crystalline then? What can we, what can we expect when we are, we actually read the verge of um, going back into the crystalline grid because the right now the inverted matrix is about 50% gone. It's down 50%. So it's actually a lot easier for us to let go of things um, because the, the, the inverted matrix is what keeps us locked down. And when 50% of that is already, you know, already um, no longer functioning, then actually it's 50% easier for us to make changes now more than ever. And, and that's why the, the last couple of years, um, it, there are so many different new energies that's hitting the earth, whether it is from the, the sun or from the galactic central sun, it's actually all these waves and waves and waves of energy that is hitting us. It's really to, um, facilitates us to let go of things. Of course, it's not easy because we 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 are, have been functioning in this carbon-based grid for so long, and the carbon-based grid is so hard for us to make any changes. So that's why it actually takes so much energy and to to push us pretty much all the way to the end of our rope when we know that there's there's nowhere to go but to let go. Then, um, and a lot of the times that it is that kind of um, being in the boiling, like it's like a, a pressure cooker kind of um, scenarios that's really getting us to the point where we let go. And once we let go, once we start to let go, then the crystalline grit can come back. Um, so the crystalline grid has always been there. It's never went away because it is natural and organic to the planet itself. So it will always, it, it has always been and will always be there. And it has always been um, regularly upgraded as the, the rest of the universe is being upgraded because there is um, so many different levels that source is trying to create new scenarios to learn new things to experiment with new ways of being that um, really learning there is no end to to this learning so because the natural organic grid is connected to all the rest of the the universe so as any part of the universe uh, has learned something, then we have access to it. And every time there is an upgrade to the universe, then the organic grid will get upgraded as well. So this grid, this crystalline grid, is there and it has always been there and available. It's just that we, um, our, uh, our, um, energy level has been kept so low that we don't have access to it. 
And once we are able to shift our vibration high enough, then the, the crystalline grid, um, we would be able to access the crystalline grid. And the other way is that when the inverted matrix is starting to disintegrate now, then it's actually, you don't have to be, you don't, your vibration really don't have to be that high and you still get access to it as well. So what is the crystalline grid? What does it give us that, um, that the inverted matrix does not give us? So I think in one word is really fluidity. So within the crystalline grid, things are very fluid. Um, that's why there's this age old, um, I would say wisdom that says be in the moment because when you're in the moment, you have access to everything. And that actually is, is the essence of the crystalline grid is fluidity. Everything is fluid. Your body is fluid. And, um, and also your consciousness um, does not hang on to things anymore. It's much, we, we don't hang on to thoughts. We don't hang on to beliefs um, anymore. Any more than we needed to hang on to it just to experience it and to learn from it. And once we're done, then it's, it's gone. We don't have to keep repeating the same mystic over and over again. It's once we get to the crystalline grid, it's actually much easier to let go of things. And um, and all, the other thing is that when you are when you are fluid, then your sense of self is completely fluid as well. There is no such thing as um, you. So the the idea of an egoic self is not is not really part of the the crystalline grid. You would still have a certain vibration. You would still have a certain frequency. So there will be certain still things that that is uniquely you. However, your how you deal with people, how you be in relationship with people, um, is becoming more and more fluid as well. So that means that you um, things like how you your your body age is also fluid as well because. In the, the carbon-based uh, grid, your body can only, um, doesn't really have the, 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 the capacity to heal itself. Your body to heal itself is limited. But in the crystalline grid, your body can really, uh, is designed to actually heal itself much easier. And also you, um, Eating is optional. I'm not saying that, you know, right in 2020, we can stop eating. I'm just saying that that is what the, the potential of the crystalline grid is. And the more you um, become adept uh, at um, living in this new grid, then the easier it is for you to let go of the idea that you need to eat in order to be alive. So eating would be optional. You can still choose to eat if you want to have that sensation. However, it will no longer be a requirement for you to stay alive. You can actually assimilate energy from so, just from your environment, just from being in the sun, just from um, being with all the other living things around you you'll be able to receive energy from your environment as well. So that's also part of the, the promise of the crystalline grid. And um, let's see, your body uh, respond to your, your thoughts as well. Um, I just want to talk a little bit out about our body. My understanding of the body is that it's, there is no body. It's, uh, or I should say that there is no physical matter. Physical matter that we know of as a body is only an illusion. We have a, a program 
that is a body that gives us the sensation. That's why we have, we have our senses, our five senses, so that we can simulate the illusion that we have a body, that there, are, there is actually um, a computer or a laptop in front of me that I'm talking into, and that there are, um, so all of this is just a, an elaborate computer program that gives us this illusion that we have a body. And the crystalline grid is really like the, the analogy is that it is the operating system. And when the operating system is upgraded, then there are so many different functions that when we are in the, the um, carbon-based grid, is um, it cannot the that those programs those function cannot operate because there is nothing to to support it. Whereas in the crystalline grid, those programs that we don't even know of um, is starting to be support it as well. Programs like we can actually, we don't actually need to use our voice to talk to each other. We can telepathically send ideas. We can, and that actually, that um, that's something that we can do. We have always been able to send ideas from across the, the world and be able to send ideas to other people. However, when, you, when we are in the crystalline grid, that actually becomes easier to, be, uh, to send ideas, telepathically communicate, and things like being empathic would be, become normal. Right now, a lot of people, um, especially if they, don't do, if they don't do any kind of energy work, they, um, they are so separate they, that they they don't know they are not empathic and and those that are empathic is in the minority whereas in the crystalline grid being empathic is a norm uh, it will become a norm um, as time goes on and we actually um being a things like being able to walk through walls um would be i would say within the possibility of like Right now, carbon-based, no, a wall is a wall. You can't walk through it. Whereas when we become crystalline, our consciousness knows that there actually is no body. It is really just a simulation. It's an illusion. And at some point, maybe much further down the road, we'll be able to walk through walls. Um, our body would become more, I would say, translucent as well. And we... It's not as solid as before because it's it's really just a piece of program. So it's really just our um, we just clinging to the idea that our body is solid. That is a thought pattern, a belief. And the more we become conscious that this is all just a a big program that tricks us into thinking that there are bodies. Um, so we, our body will not be affected by the kind of illnesses that affects a carbon-based body anymore. Um, as, and especially when your vibration gets higher, then um, the viruses and bacteria that can only survive in a certain range of, of um, vibration will not be able to get to you. You, you don't get ill the, or it's the same kind of illness as before. So, and also our body can become more fluid. We can actually start to shape shift, um, which, I, well, you know, actually it can be a good thing. So when you get to the point where you allow or you can relax your belief about the solidity of your body, then it's actually much easier for you to shape shift. If you don't like how your body looks like, if you're not tall enough or you're not skinny enough, there actually are ways to start to shape shift your body. And that's really only possible in the crystalline grid. Um, 
things like you would start to age very differently as well because your body when your body can heal itself and then um like old age is only there because our body's ability to heal itself is diminished that's why our skin loses its elasticity and all that but when our body can get nutrients and energy from the environment then it can heal itself and we can regenerate and start to change the aging process and we can actually get to the point where we have a like dying would be a choice is no longer an inevitability so all of this all these good things is is uh, it's there the most important though is that um we start to remember that we're spirit and that we are not our body and because we understand that we are not our body it's actually easier for us to start to learn how to control the body and not to be dictated by the body so when you start to control your body then all of these you know being able to um, live much much longer and being able to heal and being able to shape shift so all of those things is really from the the fact that we know we have a deeper knowing that we are not our body so we're not tied to our body anymore we become um we start to know that we are we have a body and that we are actually not just our body but everything around our body we are in our environment as well and that's why when we in um, the crystalline grid is actually easier to manifest because when you know that you are connected with every other being and the environment around you then you can start to give them let other like let your environment know what it is that you want to create and your environment will work with you and start to bring to you things that you want to manifest so all of these are made possible by the crystalline grid and um these are just i, I would say some of the things that um are more relevant to the the human experience that we know so far um other things that are more i would say out there is that we can start to actually um do out of body traveling and be able to visit other star system not with our body but but our consciousness can actually go and visit other star systems and be able to just in a split second be able to go and look at other uh, and visit other planets other galaxies and be able to start to learn at a very different level so um, that is also coming as well and that's all made possible by the crystalline grid so that's actually about all that i want to um, mention about the crystalline grid today